started my morning off by saying, don't you dare complain about the heat. <laughs> Considering that I'm always complaining about the weather, period. Um, it is going to be in the upper 80s today, a, a, a hot day yesterday, and even hotter into the weekend. This is, uh, I read one report this morning that says we are in for the uh, one of the hottest summers on record. I saw that. Uh, it's available at globalwarming.com. You can check <laughs> it out. Um, or whatever Courtesy you want. Courtesy of Al Gore. Whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, it's weird. It's the extremes that are weird. It was just last year in February. It was the coldest February on record. And here we are looking at uh, one of the hottest Memorial Day weekends I think I ever remember. Um, okay, so a lot to get into here this morning. Um, Hillary, we just played the Hillary thing. And that, of course, is so much coming to fruition yesterday. I don't know that there's any indictment uh, in store. But um, State Department coming out yesterday and really criticizing and blasting Hillary Clinton and revealing a few things like there was a lot of don't anybody talk about this. And uh, OK, and kind of back to where we were yesterday, Christine, mm -hmm. changes nobody's mind except right. for maybe those in the middle, just like the Trump thing. Mm -hmm. Those that are really plugging their nose and saying, OK, I'm going to have to vote for one of these or I may not want to vote at all. Those are the people that this matters to because the supporters of Hillary are saying they're just going after her. Mm -hmm. I would do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Really? That's really not anything bad. Uh, the, the haters of Hillary are, it's criminal. Uh, there needs to be some sort of criminal action and she could never be president. In the middle, they're the ones that will be deciding the election. So what do you think? Not good. And I'm, I guess I'm most shocked that they didn't come up with a Biden or somebody else, the Democrats, that they really trusted, knowing all this was going to come out, that they trusted that Hillary would be the candidate. And, you know, I, I guess the question is, did she get it by default? Because, you know, so many in the Democratic establishment believe that she has earned this, you know, by her record, by what she's been through, by the fact that, you know, by default, the reigning president, gets to control the way that that party runs. Yeah. So her husband was president. She was first lady. She was secretary of state. She was a senator. Well, and there's this paranoia thing where they're out to get me. And right. uh, I'm going to do whatever I can to protect. Um, uh, anyway, interesting. Uh, Rob says Hillary lied. People died. Uh, report will hurt her as far as her lying again. Uh, and Mike says, I told you not to complain about the heat. So that's what people are saying uh, to start things off. Uh, this morning. All right, we'll get into that whole thing uh, coming up. And also, uh, Rachel Sutherland, I might be able to squeeze her in in a few minutes to be able to talk about uh, this from Fox News. Okay, big exclusive story this morning that we're going to be getting into. And I think this is a huge story. And uh, Christine broke it yesterday, and that involves three pediatric groups and trusted and large. Pediatric groups in the in the area have decided to end their affiliation with the Mohawk Valley Health System. What is that all about, and what do we know here this morning? We know that Utica Pediatrics, Sequoia Valley Pediatrics, and Slocum Dixon Medical Group Pediatrics all severing ties with Mohawk Valley Health System, with the exception of the neonatology unit at St. Luke's. They are referring their emergency patients, effective July 1st, to Golisano Children's Hospital at Upstate Medical Center. So in a nutshell, that means if you are a patient or if your child is a patient at one of those groups, at one of those pediatric groups for emergencies requiring hospitalizations, you are going to be referred most likely to Golisano. That means um, I, I would assuming a, an emergency room a visit you, you have to go to the closest To the closest place. hospital, but right, But if, uh, let's say, um, you need a tonsils removed or you need your appendix removed or something to that effect, um, that means your doctor is going to recommend that you go to Syracuse um, and not the local hospital. And, oh, by the way, if you have a child, a baby born at a hospital, your doctor will not be uh, making the rounds to, to check on you or the child. They're not entering the hospital. So... There's a lot to be talked about, and a lot of uh, action on social media on this thing. Yesterday, we've reached out to everybody, and everybody is tight-lipped on this, but we're getting some stuff off the record and with anonymity. So we want to talk about those things and open up the phone lines. To me, I just want to say the parents deserve to know why. 
if this is a vote of no confidence, if it's financial, we should know. If it's a vote of no confidence by these doctors, we should know that. That's pretty important. And I think the letter is basically leading, leaving it up in the air and leaving it uh, somewhat vague. And um, I know m- myself, uh, as my wife, as, a, as parents of a child that goes to one of these facilities, uh, I think we want to know. And I, I want to make it very clear that we did speak with some people off the record yesterday. We did speak to several people on background. And none of the people with whom I spoke said anything deleterious about the quality of medical care at any of the local hospitals, i.e. if you have to bring your child to the ER, yeah. that the facilities here are amazing. With the exception of the fact that they just sent out a letter that contradicts that. And and, well, and let's get into that. I want to talk about it because I don't buy that. Um, I, 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 I don't buy it, and I want answers. And I think that people, parents, deserve answers today. So let's get some answers before 9 o'clock. This is... Potentially ridiculous, I think. Uh, 620, we're just talking about uh, Hillary Clinton. I'll go to Rachel Sutherland in just a second. Christine, with a quick update at 620. Take Rachel take it now? right now. Yeah. All right, Rachel, we're going to switch things around. Thanks so much. When we come back, we talk about guns. And I don't know that we're going to. All right, here's Christine with an update. Good morning, Christine.